Good evening, human creatures. Well, let's finish this up. I don't know if I'm gonna go to... Probably, I've been dying to give uh, Mega Man X Playable Zero a try. Especially the one that has it from X1, not X3. Or X2 for that matter. Or I might be going to Link to the Past, the Winter Lion. I have not made up my mind on that yet. But we'll see. That's all you really can do. Alright, let's begin. Probably one of my favorite songs in Final Fantasy. I love Memoria from Final Fantasy IX. It truly is a great song. That's uh, a good one to put up. Go with our boy here. But as much as I love that song, can't be listening to it all night. Oh, hey, Nat, and bye, Nat. All right, God, I'm kind of nervous on this fight. Already, and I forgot how to play the game. Perfect. Despite our emperor. And right off the bat. Holy shit! Well, he ain't fucking around. Now I gotta break out the script already and update it. Seventeen deaths on this? Holy fuck, man. I, I, he came for my fucking ass. And I gotta wait here for a bit. I forgot all about how his fight goes, too. That's what kind of hurts. To self, enter from the very fucking side. Well, if anybody ever wants to make a ROM hack, please speed up the Dio pendant, but not too much, but something faster than this. I think it is slightly faster in this, if I remember correctly, because the OG one took a while. Let's try to learn from our mistakes. And by emphasis, I mean try. Oh, you're fine, Matt. You're fine. Holy shit, he's not going down without a fight. 
That is one pissed off Emperor. There we go, holy shit. Alright, now the real fucking battle begins. Alright, never mind. Psycho armor here? Didn't expect that. You can't hear me. Oh, it's picking me up. Matt, sometimes you worry me, but uh, not too bad right now. Got in a little late, took a while. I did think I thought I was gonna have to work, but didn't. Matt, that's a mean thing to pull on a streamer, because if you knew what I had to look through just to check my volume, I'll do it to you when you decide to stream one of these days. Ooh. I'm glad you came. You're wounded. Were you not for me, but for Messiah? She waits for you on the highest floor. You must use the basement's entrance to get there. Here is the bow of truth. Use it on the battle of the Emperor Nago and Messiah's room. Yeah, it doesn't charge while I'm setting down. I better. Oh, how did that go today? I've heard bad things about it. Well, you know, one time I suppose it doesn't hurt, but... There it is. I usually don't fast forward anything I play, but today I'm gonna make a fucking exception. That's good. How was Jenna Ortega in it and uh, when, when, uh, Winona Ryder? There we go. I almost forgot how to say names. Surprisingly gore in it, and they were good, but I love Michael Keaton's Beetlejuice the best. That's what I'm looking forward to uh, seeing when I watch it. to tie in that I'm kind of you know, don't tell me too much because I do plan on watching it Wes Danny DeVito was in it but like a uh, amount well uh, William DeFeo was in it that's pretty damn good uh, just in case I'm gonna fucking hate this I keep forgetting about that.
I haven't seen the first one in so long. Oh, it's been a very long time for me as well. So you're in good company. This might be it. Oh, I doubt it. Oh, I think that's where I just came from. There we are. Oh, what other anime are you watching? What are you weeping about on now? Yeah, fuck you too. Oh, what the- oh yeah, the Psycho Armor does rep- does it? Am I thinking- no, that doesn't seem right. Hosting Ultimate. I'm uh, on episode 3, but I didn't. Uh... Oh, that's nice. Now, how does it differ from uh, normal Hellsing? I'm kind of curious. Son of a bitch. I'll just wait up here for it now. A little further up here. The heat is making me itchy. Oh, it's been quite hot over here too. Not to my liking. mistake. It was a very bad mistake. Get this one, get it good. Alright, we can do this, everybody. I don't have any faith. Always here. Oh, what do you got? Okay. All right, give me a second to read that net. I don't understand what you mean by skippable. Wait, hold on. Is it the same series? There's nothing's really changed? Is that what's kind of going on here? Because I don't understand what you mean by skippable. Oh, so did I, man. Like, I don't really watch it, but... I mean, you kind of had me at hello. By skippable me, do you mean you don't really need it for plot or it's just same shit rehashed? What we got here? Uh there we go, I'm three hubs up. Where have I or am I two? No, I should be three. Hmm. God 
God damn it. Let's try this side. Let's go down the stairs each way. Because I know one of them's side. I don't know if it's this. Here's the thing. I don't know if it's this dungeon right here that everything is on the side or not. I don't like you getting that close to my ass. Basically, Hell's Gnome you know, is more of a remake than the first Hell scene. What do they do differently, Nat? What do they got? Shorter cleavages or some shit? Because that's usually what that means when I hear that. This has to be all the way around. Right. One, two, three, four. That's it, four. All right, let's start. Because all of them are literally just linked together, except for two. One goes to the boss, and that's the middle room. I think it goes diagonal, so let's give it a try. Why people were like, hell yeah, skip Helsing, it's not worth watching. It's Helsing on is more accurate than Magnum and the better it's the story. Matt, all I know is I know my neighbor beats off to it, and that's about it. I could not tell you jack shit about any of the hell scenes. I don't really care for it. To me, it's just Edgelord bullshit. Alright, I'm on the outside here. I'll sing first because I thought it's... Oh, what's the point if they just remade it? And what's that tell you that they had no confidence in their first product? And it makes me laugh to a certain degree. do this right. Something doesn't feel right. Huh. Yeah, I know, Nat, but... Eh. big rooms. Oh, if 
fucking found you. I was wondering where you guys went. Wait, hold on. Am I done with the other pyramid? Huh. Well, let's roll with it. You who awaken us, you will sleep an endless sleep. I love Alucard, the vampire that hunts his own kind. Matt, has it ever explained why he does it? Me personally, it just seems boring, like they could have done something more with what I have seen of it, and it just... If I understand it right, Nazis come back, not that really interesting, normal stupid shit. Edge, hits, you know. But usually is enough to sell me on something, I'm gonna get some violence and some nudity out of it. But... Now, who are you? Okay, never mind. Oh, I know. I remember, Nat. You used to show them to me damn near every stream. Give up every few steps. Helsing's old? Matt, what year did Helsing even come out in? Like, not that I remember it being old. I have no idea where the fuck I'm at. My grave? Yeah, let's heal up here. Or, oh my god, we're getting shot at. Well shot, Mr. Slime. Well, either of them, that to me, they're the same product. So they, you, you could slap ultimate at the end of one of them, it's still going to be the same one. Basically, it's Helsing, new cherry, new cherry flavor. You son of a bitch. Speeding up wrongs. See you, Mr. Butterfly. It came out in 2000 and Ultimate came out in 2006. Why the five year delay? And that, to me, it feels like it came out yesteryear. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels like it came out a few years ago. But you got to understand, I wasn't watching anime at that time. I was quirky. So your guess is good as mine.
No, I didn't want to do this, so fuck it. Well, shit. There we go. Just like in real life, if you experience enough pain, like everything goes away. You gonna fucking turn? Speed up on roams. Also, my mom told me that one of my aunts, two or four, died. I think when I was four because the heat. Chickens? I miss it. Chickens? Uh, I, I got my own, so I don't have to worry about missing them. But you know. I don't know, Nat. I was trying to decipher what you said. Don't worry, I'm not going to correct you. Everybody's got a right to spell bad. Shade protection, yeah, no, they're, they're fucking cooked. I don't mean that in a good way. Oh, you dick. Oh yeah, no, there are places in California that could just fucking melt you. It's a windstorm, but it takes too long to actually do any damage. Pass the meatballs? What the hell? You sure you don't have some of that little secret heat stroke already, Nat? Fucking gang bay me there, holy hell. Way, way this place is fucked. Mama Mia, Nat, do you want to play Mario? Alright, here we go. You. 
you shall receive the wrath of my fury for taking my kingdom from me. The arrow pierces the heart of the emperor and made his true image is revealed. And his true image is revealed. Now this fight can get ugly fast. is that about? What, they don't get blocked by barriers? I heard him tinging off the damn thing. I'm now Tony Soprano and Mario. Matt, you'd be surprised at how often those two characters actually did go together. Eighteen. I wonder what Crystal is going to look like. I know you don't watch a lot of anime. A lot of anime. Your biggest pet peeve is anime. My biggest pet peeves, like if you want my honestly uh, honest opinion, ones that's been spiking up is a lot of the isekais that just are getting fucking stupider and stupider uh, the more I see them. Like we're getting into super dumb territories with that shit. Like the vending machine. He's a fucking vending machine, Matt. You know what should happen? People buy drinks from him. Someone tips him over, rips off his, uh, apparently his face, takes his fucking change, his soda, and then just leaves him destitute that his owner either gets him repaired or junks him. So he goes from his life as a vending machine to parts of his life become a toaster and another half gets remelted into some spoons. Give me a fucking break with some of that nonsense. No, I'm not. I am far from okay. And here we go. That one makes me chuckle, but it, to a certain degree, Nat, kind of makes me sad. I wasn't blocking it a minute ago. Give me two more pet peeves, it's fun hearing. Uh, what's a, what's one that's been... Wait, hold on your net. Good job, this is the way it was supposed to be. I must explain. I wasn't... I didn't want evil in my mind. I tried to push out all corrupting thoughts. And corrupting thoughts away. But the uh, dragon began to read my mind and... Uh, I know you have a lot. Now you have no idea. 
But Dragon began to read my negative ideas and become uh, absorbed by... Sorry, but I can't read tonight. Absorbed by them. The fact that you, Miss I, are awake means that the tower cycle has begun. There is so little time. Hold on, try it. Kensu, I'm sorry. I feel dra uh, Dragon's evil. It was my fault. He saw the temptation of uh, using his power for self-glory and evil, but I could do nothing. Now we must be apart. I'm sorry. Ah, that's not, I'm here in the tower now. Not much time. I can't wait to have that little uh, powwow in there. Enter into the next room. I'll take you to the tower. Who knew in 1997 we had this bitch in setup, baby? Where is this cap? Uh, what's like another one now? I'm kind of getting tired of fucking just stupid fucking physics I've been seeing. I, it used to be kind of funny, but it's getting a little bit too fucking dumb for me. Another pet peeve I don't like is everything takes place in fucking high school. It's like, in Japan, they don't have colleges anymore. Or at least ones that function. Go murder some robots. And boy, do I hate this section. Uh, I already waited. Kick it off to a good start. I how many you're supposed to kill. But it just... I, I can't get into anything that requires a fucking uh, high school kid. I don't relate to high school kids. I'm no longer one. Back then, I didn't do it either. Good old Jigo Psychics. Honestly, yeah. High school anime is annoying. Oh, fuck, man. When do you stop... Like, is there ever a fucking point to where it does stop, can I ask? That hurts. There we go, I got the automatic fire, and I got the automatic ball to the face. just I don't fucking get it man I, I understand high school is different in each country but like fuck me man high school can not be your best years of your fucking life like that, that sounds dystopian like in America it's usually the shittiest years of your life at least for me it was fuck I don't want to go back to high school but it just that's another little pet peeve some of the outfits are getting fucking beyond stupid, if you want my honest, my other honest opinion. Like, I used to not mind certain anime outfits, but, like, lately, it's like, holy shit, do I gotta redo this whole thing. And that's probably a yes, yes, I do. Oh, shit. I knew you'd come out for me, buddy. Fuck you, too. Oh, this is not my best run. Holy shit. Getting beat like I owe someone money. Oh, that's just some of the nap. The other one I don't like is the new fucking, uh, what was that genre mean you were talking about? It's just be people becoming inanimate objects. It's not even fucking isekais anymore. I've been seeing that shit pop up. Like, what the fuck, man? Are you guys running out of ideas? Is this why Attack on Titan's so big? Because this is its fucking competition? Is this semi-fucking stupid shit? It, that, that's why bad anime succeeds when even worse anime is the only thing it can be compared to. I'm not talking about making like a fucking Miyazaki masterpiece as people fucking claim it is. But Jesus fucking Christ, at some point, man, at some point you gotta stop and say, hey, maybe I shouldn't be supporting this shit if this is a slop they're gonna throw up on the fucking table. Oh, hey, Cassie. <laughs> I didn't see you there. 
Thank you for the cookie. Nat, they need some more than chill out. It's like they're not even trying. How are you tonight? I knew you were coming. God damn it, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I already doubled down. If you guys don't know, she's basically explaining the plot that these guys, this mighty warrior that you're playing as, is actually just a scientist. Cassie, I gotta ask, do you have any pet peeves on anime? Ready to quit my job, exhausted, but okay. How is everybody? Ah, uh, not too bad. Same as always. Underpaid and angry. Something I think everybody can relate to nowadays. Isekai, what other is yeah, I can't stand harems. Matt, the only harem I ever really watched in anime, and this is God's honest truth, is probably Tenchi Muyo. And I actually did like that one. Because it actually kind of felt, I wouldn't say like a harem, but more fair. It was kind of doing its own thing while having that. I mean, I don't care for most sports anime. You are okay, but at the same time, it just depends on me with anime. Yeah, I know how you are. We, or I shouldn't say know how you are. I know how it is when you get the mood to watch something. Sports anime to me is not that good because you're, you're basically just watching a superhero anime. Uh, you might as well just watch Goku because the guy who's in it, the main character, is always going to succeed no matter fucking what. Oh, I love Tenchi Muyo. I, I, though I haven't seen it in about two decades, I did enjoy it. And it has stuck with me throughout the years. Did you find Azteca? He was an android created by us and programmed to lead the people into a positive direction. We can only hope that he will succeed. We use all of our resources to rate him. If he fails, then it will be up to you to decide their fate. Boy, God, talk about being screwed, blued, and tattooed. Hey, how most isekais and harems are that will try to find someone who doesn't have it. wants the protagonist to focus on their goals and not focus on just fucking uh, on girls or girls drooling over the That's why I kind of like Tenchi Muyo, Nat. To a certain degree, it was a harem, but it also, it kind of flushed everybody out. They had their own reasons for being there. It wasn't just, you know, what harems usually are fucking dedicated to. It's so cute. There we are, got the walleye. It was interesting when they had a new Tenchi series after a time, like the ones they showed on Tsunami I grew up on. I didn't really get in on Tsunami. Like, I know Tenchi Muyo, believe it or not. It's because one of my friends' sister used to watch it in the living room. His father owned a landscaping company, and I worked for him for quite a while throughout high school. And when I would come in on breaks, me and him would just sit in the living room. That's where the most powerful AC was. And in Kansas, you're talking about getting up to 105 on good days. So we'd sit in there, and his, I think she was like 12. She'd just go and get something to drink, go get a pillow, prop it up against the uh, chair. Uh, not, she wouldn't sit in the chair. She'd sit right on with her back towards it. And just sit there and surf in and watch cartoons. And I'd either watch him with her where I'd fall asleep, <laughs> I'd fall asleep, passed out. 
Oh, Nat, go ahead and tell her, because I know you can't help yourself. Oh, I love Outlaw Star. That's another one. To me, I really wish you'd go back into making more anime like that. If that was true, I probably would become a Wii, because that's more stylized, and I like it. It's not full, it's filled full of bullshit edge or harems. It has somewhat of a decent plot. I fucking love the music. The one thing that can get me tied into something, without any doubt, is either the way it looks or the way it sounds. If an anime has really good music, I'm there. Outlaw Star had that in spades. And I love the artistic look to it, too, especially near the ending episodes. Like, it really did blow me away, and it is a tragedy that not more was made. Same thing with Dirty Pair. Um, I also can't wait to finish three episodes of the Hellsman. Yes, the fucking exactly. Those three songs, I shit, I shit you not, Cassie, I watched them, pro my first exposure to Outlaw Star was probably when I was about 15, and those two songs have stuck with me ever since. And I have not seen that anime literally since probably the very middle to very early 2000s. Some anime, I like their music but don't care for the anime. Welcome to my hell. But the thing is, anime is never going to be how it used to be. I don't look for it to be how it used to be, Matt. Nat, it's not going to be that way because times have changed. That's just what it is. In the 90s, people bitched about it not being like the 80s anime. In the 80s, they wanted the 70s look. And in 2010s, they wanted to go back to the fucking 2000s look. And it's always going to be a look back. It's like I've always told people, Matt. Do you know how to get people to like Final Fantasy uh, 16? Is to make Final Fantasy 17 and then they'll go back and claim how good 16 was. And they'll do the same thing. It's always going to be like that. I don't expect it to go back, but... That's what kind of makes it special. It was just kind of like the closest you're going to get to certain time travel. To seeing how things once were. I was, I was Gene Starwin fangirl. I was in the 6th grade and I first came out and I made sure not to miss it. I, I feel you there, man. I love him, Jim. I love the fuck out of... Uh, oh god, what is there? Melfina. That's probably the one anime you're probably going to get me to swoon over next to the Dirty Pair. I shit you not. Ne or you Vow Tenchi, but that's about it, really. Only ones I could think of is Vampire Hunter D. Why did you ask about it, though? Oh, no, not me and her are just talking. If you want, Cassie, and I'm not going to try to undermine your intelligence, but if you're looking for something that's similar, there is one that's called Angel Links. It's supposed to be connected to the same universe, but it doesn't kind of feel like it. Finally, you're weaving out. Welcome to the club. No, Nat, see, weaving out is when, like, I have posters of anime all over my walls and, like, I'm carving people up and fucking... Well, not people up, but I'm carving things up and, uh... And just like making birthday cakes out of pictures that, that's weaving it's when you that's the only thing you process that's, that's what i've been telling you like if cassie only watched anime and took in no other media or it had to be anime related you got yourselves a weave when you constantly make anime references or can't leave online life you're a weave but if you enjoy like five or six series you're not a weave you just enjoy anime I like working on cars, but I'm by no means a fucking mechanic. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you, Nat. Thank you. Able to get season two? Uh, you might you might be waiting for that for a while, Nat. I think the person who made Outlaw Star passed. Uh, you're finally caught up with me. Unsheath your swords or the tower will uh, attack will begin. Wind? Fire, water, lightning. Now you have crystals. Look at that big fucking sword. Man, I love the way that looks.
as a DVD collection of Outlaw Star, I remember how funny it was to see that they got censored in the uh, first episode. Yeah. Oh, they got censored for a few. Uh, I, I don't know why, but well, I do know why, but at the same time. When he split up with Jim, he went to that place called the Club Temptation. <laughs> That always kind of got me, the things that they did choose to uh, kind of do that to. Like, at certain points, you got to trust people to be adult enough to handle it. 2000 anime had the biggest eyes. I'm looking at you, Card Captor Sakura. I have no idea what that is. Escaflone, I haven't seen in a long time. That was one of my brother's favorites. Mr. Schroed dying, the central computer. If you succeed, get Chrysalis into the main reactor. It's main reactor. You... Oh, yeah. Oh, that ain't good. This fight can get out of hand real fast. By the time this is activated, we will no longer be alive. We hope that we made the right decisions and that all people will realize their mistakes before it's too late. Masai, as an old friend, I wish you safety. Good luck. There we go. Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, that one I did like. I do remember that one. I mean, if you look at the... They already gave kids to watch before anime. You had Ren... Yeah. Oh, Cow and Chicken, I don't know. But Ren and Stimpy, yeah. I do remember that. Confirmed Meltdown self drug has been initiated. Alright, no, I'm fine. The danger is over now. It would be nice to rest easy from now on without the threat of evil at our backs. Final countdown initiated. Evacuate explosions. Activate. Evacuate. Time to leave. I'm with you. Ren and Stimpy is, Nat. If you ever watch the, the production and the history of that, that is wild as fuck. It truly is what they did with that show. You often wonder how the hell they got made, but then again, that's why Gen X is kind of built different than other the millennials or what would become the millennials later. Ah. Well, we did it. I've seen some parts. It's not too bad of a show. I hear they did a remake of it, or I wouldn't say a remake. Kind of like a retelling of, of Rocco's Modern Life, but I missed out on it. Like, that's the one thing I do miss about the 90s, Nat, that kind of separated it from every other, or and I wouldn't say every other decade, but the 2000s and 2010s and even today, is it felt like they are willing to throw money and risk shit. Yeah, no, I heard about that. He went up there, wrote a song... And he re he either read it or didn't read the song, threw it away, and he later found out that person was Kurt Cobain. Yeah, no, I've heard about that. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Uh, what to do now? Yeah, so you got any animes you'd like to throw out? I'm kind of curious. Or I shouldn't say throw out. Anything that's kind of sparked your interest lately? Well, everybody, that was Crystalis Female, even though it didn't really change the ending sprite. I do recommend it. It really does play, switch up the gameplay, making it easier to grind, but it does kind of add a kind of new way of playing it, which is pretty damn good. I do recommend giving it a try. I've been meaning to do this one for a while.
And I cannot wait for the Demon Slayer movie. I've never heard of Demon Slayer. Wait, hold on. I think I have. Alternate universe for Crypto Lane didn't make Nirvana and join Ren and Stimpy. And that, I probably would have watched it a whole lot more. But it, even if he did, I'd rather have him in Nirvana. For what short time it was. Let me update this stream. go. No, not you. I don't know who you are. Solo leveling? I've never heard of that one either. No, it took me a while to remember, Nat. Sorry. And there we go. Uh, let's see how this one is. Sarah Victoria and my beloved. Mm, I can't read the night nap. Beloved. Beloved. There we go. I'm not drinking, I swear. Oh, what's it about? I'm kind of curious. Fucking ate through my brother's fingers when he used to speedrun this shit. Luckily, I picked up some tricks from him, but I'm by no means master at it. Words are hard, reading is hard, math is hard, adulting is hard. There's a sign right out where I work, and I think it sums it up. I get the responsibility, but every day seems a bit excessive. Trying to think of the best way to explain it without giving too much away. Oh, good luck. That's one of the hardest things to do. I didn't want that. Don't hit. God damn it. Well, I have... Why not? Why not? It's been a while since I've died at the intro stage. If you want a fucked up anime, where's that? Some happy-go-lucky window. Goblin Slayer? I don't think I've heard of that one either. I'm starting to really see a lot of D&D elements in anime, more so than lately. So what's Goblin Slayer about, other than kind of what I think it is, if it gets kind of fucked up? I want that. Remember how to jump. I never was able to do it in the car ride. Matt, when I say D and D stuff, I mean. Oh god, what's a good way to put it? A little bit more on the nose than just having fantasy elements. I'm not used to zero being so tall. I miss Gravity Falls. On that, you better get used to it because I think Gravity Falls is going wayward. Another note, I'm still gonna regret eating last night's. 
That was a really far off uh, bell. That's a good dinner last night. It was so yummy. Oh, what did you have to eat? I only watched Emma's, and it was a disbelief of what just happened. I might give it a look after this is over. Why do they hate Mabel? Like, she's probably one of the best things in the damn thing. Steak, crab, creamy beef noodles. Oh, man, now you're getting me hungry. The only thing I've had to eat today is roasted peppers, and that's about it. Let's see what Mr. Penguin's up to. Oh. If you guys want anybody to raid, go ahead and put it, because I'm just going to uh, get to the end of this. They did not space that, and was that with the fucking Z? Did they really put spells? Of course they did, why not? You need some footage? No, I, I'm, I'm hungry enough. I'm probably not going to eat again until probably 6 in the morning. A lot of people said she's selfish and dipped towards a sacrifice. For her, I want you to put some cover out on that. Doesn't mean she's a bad person, Matt. Or I should say a bad character. By side, that's what I like about her. Come on, dude, you're taller than that. You should easily grab. Okay, yeah, they didn't change it to the Wily capsules. Because you said she's so. Hmm. Oh, I gotta ask, Nat, what are you eating tonight? I know you got back from Beetlejuice. I'm kind of curious. If you want to raid somebody, I have some friends currently playing Mega Man X3 doing some trophy hunting. Uh, Buck Wild Beast. Sounds good. Trophy hunting on... Oh, he's doing... Uh... I'm going to assume he's... Uh... Doing the Legacy Collection. I've been meaning to get to that one. Just butcher it. Holy shit. There we go. Got some of my group back. That, how was she supposed to know? But yeah, I do kind of see both points. All right, he is sped up, and that now goes. Well, oh, we got. Holy shit! Did they really change some of the combat? I thought this was just a aesthetic. I, I had no idea. Fuck yeah, man! That's awesome as fuck. We're playing this. Get up, little X, or little Z. I'm surprised they didn't reach further. Yeah, the food was good, but I shouldn't have made so much heavy food so late. I don't work till one. It just means I gotta wait till my food settles enough. Yeah, I've done that before with some heavy meals. Put you to bed, too. Thing is, Maple didn't know about it. Uh, Stanford never told her about it. And her. So then you can't really fault her. I can see where this is a little bit rough, but I'm willing to forgive it. Hell, I'm gonna save just in case because I do not trust passwords in this game.
such a good song. Hmm. Let's go with uh, yeah, that one's a nice nice one too. Buck Wild Beast, is it? Oh, let's go do a meet and greet. I'm probably gonna head to the gym and get an early start so I can get out of there early. I gotta help my brother in the morning. I mean, I heard it was true that the movie actually comes out. I got excited. Must have been the the original cast. No, that's what kind of got me uh, excited for it, too. But I've also heard some bad things, but I'll be the judge of my own eyes with it. So we'll find out. Alright everybody, I'm about to send you over to Buck Wild Beast. He's doing Platinum Trophies, uh, Road to 50, which I think he probably means 50 followers, so please follow and subscribe. Or hopefully you can, but nonetheless, give him a follow, hit up his socials, it looks like he's a man in need. And he's doing Mega Man X3, which is my favorite of the whole entire series. Let's go uh, give him a raid, respect him and his channel rules. Also, I'd like to thank Cassie Rose Firefrost for coming out tonight. She cooks lovely meals. Trust me, I've seen the photos to prove it. But she also does retro streams along with mixed up. I guess you could call it modern ones too. Go give her a like, follow, and sub. You won't regret it. She does like to talk, so when you're in there, be sure to chat her up. Trust me, it does a lot of good in the world knowing that it's not just us. Eh, it's not too bad. I do like X4, but X3 just kind of holds that spa little special place in my heart. I'm chaos, <laughs> is what I am. I actually enjoyed your Half-Life stream a few years back when I did catch, manage to catch you guys online. You and Ash always stream right in the middle of either me covering another shift or me getting switched on to days. I'm awful at games, but I love the Mega Man music. Oh no, the, we're all addicted to that soundtrack, trust me. It'd be a true dark day in humanity when that finally goes. You guys take care. I'll see you guys on the flip. I'm sending you out to Buckwild Beast, and once again, respect him and his channel rules.